Milanese from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. Milanese, Milanese or Meneghin for native speakers, is a Lombard language variety spoken in the city of Milan and its surroundings. In Italian speaking contexts, Milanese, like most of the other non Italian language varieties spoken within the borders of the Italian Republic, is often generically called the dialect. This is often incorrectly understood as to mean a dialect of Italian, which actually is not the case. Milanese and Italian are different languages and are not mutually intelligible. Milanese is a particular and prestigious Lombard variety and is intelligible to speakers of other Lombard varieties. Like all other dialects of Lombard, Milanese is a Western Romance language related to French, Romance, Italian and so on. As per today, Milanese does not have any official status either in Milan or anywhere else. The only official language in Milan is Italian. Various dictionaries, a few grammars, extensive literature and a recent translation of the Gospels are available. Orthography Partly because of the unofficial status of Milanese, several different orthographic conventions have developed. The oldest still in use, and probably the most widely used, is the convention adopted by the Milanese writer Carlo Porta. Typical of this system is the two graph O, E, U for the vowels E and E. More recent conventions often try to simplify the rules, which are sometimes not very immediate in the Porta system, make correct reading of Milanese easier for native Italian speakers, and reduce the gap between the written forms of Milanese and of other Lombard dialects. A lot of the alternative systems use U-umlaut and O-umlaut instead of U and O-E-U, in order to avoid confusion between Milanese and Italian vowels. They also generally reduce the number of accents involved, often removing the circumflex. A comparison with Italian There are so many differences between Milanese and Standard Italian that a comparison between the two may be deemed questionable. However, the comparison is made quite natural by the fact that speakers of Milanese are usually also speakers of Italian. More vowels are found in Milanese than there are in Italian. In particular, Milanese adds e, u and others. Moreover, vowel length plays a role in Milanese. While almost every Italian word of more than one syllable ends in a vowel, consonant endings are extremely common in Milanese. A consequence is that many words that are paroxytone in Italian become oxytone in Milanese. While Italian subject pronouns derive directly from their Latin counterparts, subject pronouns in Milanese derive from Latin dative pronouns. This makes Milanese subject pronouns resemble Italian object or dative pronouns. Mi, Italian mi, ti, Italian ti, lui, Italian lui, le, Italian lei, num, Italian noi, vi alter, Italian voi, lur, Italian loro. Subject pronouns are doubled in the second and third person singular. Singular you are, Italian tu sei, becomes ti te set in Milanese. Here, the first ti is the actual subject pronoun, which is optional, while the second te, normally a dative pronoun, is used to reinforce the subject and is compulsory. It's interesting to mention that the t suffix of the second person of verbs also derives from Latin te, for a notable total of three subject pronouns per verb. The negation is postponed after the verb. This means that where Italian has non say for you are not, Milanese allows either of tite set no or tite set minga. Minga is an alternative negational adverb, probably derived from the Latin word mica, meaning crumb, various forms of which are common in other Italian dialects and even Italian itself, where non verb mica is common slang for reinforcing negations. Also consider French pa and Tuscan punto for examples of negations made by using words that all designate something small generically. Statistically, minga and no are about equally as common in Milanese, and they are usually interchangeable, although a Milanese speaker will sometimes find that one sounds better in a sentence than the other.